Nalam skura nal, nali vohi, nali vohi. coast of England slips by below. It doesn't look like much now, but in a few hours when you come back, if you come back, this will be the most beautiful view in the world. Everything about the sound of slate that I might have remembered, every colour, shape or form, the identity of sky, land or water, was destroyed and replaced by those events, which I can only call the unearthly light, the dark, dark which beyond the black, the mass of grey and the deep shimmering of a streak below. Most of my paintings now, paintings of the sea and sky, are painted from an angle of view which I'm sure springs from those flying days. My work must be a search and a requiem. I think there's many layers to the way John Schuller saw, saw the sky from his experiences in the war, you know, in the V-17 bombers, in the plexiglass navigation part. And he was looking, he seemed to be looking for his mother or the woman in the sky. And that was a huge part in his introduction to looking at the sky in a different way. So he was seeing things from his own imagination. Once he start, came to Malik and he saw the light and the way it hit him, the light as he came as his very, from his very first impression, he started to look for something else. And, and I think he started to find it. And particularly as he started to go out in the fishing boats, you know, he was finding something. out to sea in the boat. I love to be at the helm. I'm moving into the picture. I'm moving into the painting. But I, even when I look into an area just like uh, the past that we're headed toward now, uh, I'm able to see these things from the sea, which to me has a... it detaches me from the land where my feet are, are solid on the ground. Do you understand? You know, although he, he knew the fishermen experienced the same things, my taking it is the fishermen didn't know they were experiencing the same things as John did. They didn't see the same things as John did. They just instinctively knew it. They were in it. They were part of it. Whereas John was objectively looking at it and through his objectivity started to started a search in him looking for more. There's a kind of a life view which I think is unique to the islands and perhaps on Sky in particular. For me, astronomy is where science, philosophy and spirituality all come together in one place. It's where the big profound questions are. And I feel now Slate is, and so more us, like is such a big part of my life. I can't see myself being anywhere else. I have never failed to be inspired by the people, the culture, 
the landscape, the light. When you learn a language, you, you learn a culture. And you can see connections, you can see what's different, and you can understand better your, your own culture. You know, we can we can all see what we want to see in the sky if we, if we look hard enough. So, <laughs> and that's part of part of what the search is about, really, isn't it?